This video will give a brief overview of the publication system hosted on CubesHub. The publication system is currently under development but is um, accessible and can be used by CubesHub members at the moment. So this video is a brief guide for the existing publication system as of November 2017 and uh, this will change in the near future but for now this will act as our as our working guide. Um, the publication system is a resource sharing mechanism for users to share and interact with uh, any type of resources like teaching materials, data sets, um, conference or workshop materials, anything that you would like to share. Um, so I'm going to start off here looking at the end result. This is a publication record. As you see, um, you have a nice permanent uh, record, a web page for the material with title, authors, an abstract description, um, a citation. We are able to tag for searching purposes. And of course, up here you can download the materials. Uh, the, these can be files. You can also publish external and internal links and URLs. Um, we also have a DOI service, so if you would like to post your resource with a DOI, you can do that. We have um, several different Creative Commons licensing options for your materials, and we also provide basic metrics of views and downloads for your resource. So this is the final product that we offer at this moment. Um, so now I'm going to go back and go over the process of getting here. So first I'm going to go to the Cubes homepage. Um, and publications are always going to come out of projects. So projects are workspaces where users can work independently or with a team um, to share files, notes, and uh, to share updates. But this is where we're going to publish out of. Now to see your projects, you can go to your dashboard and you should have a My Projects module to go through and um, view your projects if you know the project that you'd like to publish out of. Um, or you can publish out of a project that's owned by a group. So in this case, um, I don't have a project made yet. I don't, I don't, I'm not ready to do that, but I know I want to publish in the Bird group. So I'm going to go here first. Now because I'm a group manager, I can start a new project. So um, only group managers can do this, and these next few minutes are going to pertain only to group managers. I'm going to go to Projects. And uh, neither of these projects are really going to work for me. I just am focused on publishing this one file, so I'm going to add a project. And I'm going to call it the bird pub project. It will give me a URL. I'm just going to keep moving with this. Now this uh, project is owned by a group because I just created it within the group. But um, I don't want to include all group members in my case. Um, I'm just focused on sharing my resources and I don't want other people moving my files around or deleting anything or anything like that. So I'm going to specify group membership and then I can select members from the group list. So I'm going to include this other manager um, because I know he has some resources he wants to share and I will just save that. I'm going to continue. Now I have a new project and you should note that you are now outside the environment of the group or supergroup you started in and are in the project interface. So I have a new project and now you'll notice that publications is on the left menu here. Uh, this will be the case in all projects so you, that's where you're going to publish out of. Um, typically you'll be posting files. And if you would like, you can upload your files beforehand in your master repository. Now I suggest if you're going to be publishing 
uh, multiple resources to create a directory structure before you start that um, just because things could get messy pretty quickly so I would uh, suggest adding a folder and then uploading files to specific folders just to keep everything organized before you start publishing um, and this works like any file directory you can have folders within folders anything like that and then you can upload files right here now in my case I'm just gonna publish one file um, I don't want a folder for it I'm not worried about it so I'm going to go straight to publications I'm gonna start a new publication and now I'm going to choose a cubes resource as most of you will do as well uh, if you would only choose nibbles or biomap or another partner specific resource type if you are a member of that project and you know that is exactly what you need um, everyone else will typically be using the general cubes resource and now we start with content and you should note here that you can publish files, external links, internal links, databases, all in one publication. If you have multiple um, types of content, that is fine. So I have a file that I want to add. Now, if you had uploaded things prior, you could look through your master repository, see that folder I just created, and choose your file. Now, I didn't do that. I want to do a quick upload. So I'm going to choose the file from my hard drive. I want to publish this image right here and then you can choose to put it in a specific folder as well if you forgot something you can add it to a folder I'm just gonna put it in my home directory we'll just wait for it and then you can see the image right there it's been added to my master repository now I'm going to select that and save and then um, related to my image is this this site called google.com oh you need that HTTP great so I'm gonna attach that link as well now generally you could use this feature to link to a resource that has been posted elsewhere but maybe not um, given a full metadata record or a DOI and you would just like to point to it with your files or it's um, a supplemental material to anything that you're posting you could add an external link you can also add other cubes resources here or databases if you've constructed databases on the hub but that's it for us so I'm going to keep moving and now if you use an external link you should note that uh, it, there's an autofill feature from the website's content but that's not quite relevant so um, my image was of uh, forking a pub so I'm going to call it that. My abstract is very short, maximum of 250 characters. So I'm going to give a really brief description. And then my, my description is where I have my full text editor and unlimited space for describing everything. Um, so here is where you can get into a lot of detail. I don't have a lot of detail about this picture um, so I'm going to put this in here a couple times but if I wanted to I could add a link out to something else that I it's not included in my publication um, you have a lot of control in this description here this is really the meat of uh, what you want people to know about your resource I'm gonna hit next then I add authors the default list is displaying from your project team so um, I'm the author and uh, so is Drew so I'm going to add him but there's someone else who's not a part of my team who's an author so I'm going to look them up in cubes Oops. there I'm going to add him 
And you see it's easy as that to add the author even if they're not part of your project. Additionally, if someone is um, not on cubes, you can add them as well right here. You just need to include all of their information, first name, last name, and institution. And then you need to save the first ones. You also have the option to reorder your author list and you can edit them and delete them right here in the corner. So that's set, that's how I want that to go. Um, this is just notifying you there will be group ownership of this publication and I am submitting this so my name is here but this does not appear on the publication record. Um, right now we don't really use this page. Uh, we encourage you to include any relevant files in the content list. So we're going to keep moving. Now you choose a license. So if you click right here, we offer several different Creative Commons licenses. Uh, if you open any of them, they give you the readable format of the license. So you should make that selection. We encourage the attribution share alike, allowing others to share and adapt as long as they license uh, the same way that you have, allowing for others to do the same. You can read more about those licenses on the Creative Commons website as well if you are interested. And that link is right there. And you need to agree to the license terms. Now tagging is very important. It's uh, the central way that uh, your resource would appear in searches by users. Now um, my resource is a, is a teaching material, so I want to indicate some very specific things like the audience. And you can see there are existing tags that you should rely on. This will, uh, as more people use these tags, will better our search system. So this one is, this is for high school, um, and the activity length for this, this resource is uh, less than an hour, and the, let's see, the instructional setting is uh, a lecture, but that's not just limited, you could use this in lab too, so I'm going to add both of them. Um, and you should also feel free to add any keywords. So this is an image. Um, it's related to OER. I'm going to tag pretty heavily. And this category, it is a teaching material. I'm going to leave that. Um, if you have versioned your resource, you should include release notes to say how you've changed it. Um, this is specific, to, um, especially important to FMN participant products um, when participants modify existing resources for their classroom. This is where those changes should appear to really help people understand how you customize the resource. I don't have any, this is my original image, so I'm gonna keep going. And then you can review your publication you can actually go see what the record would look like to make sure you're happy with it. And if you're not happy with it, you can go make changes. I'm, I'm pleased with that. I want it to publish immediately, so I'm not gonna add a date there. I want a DOI, so I'm gonna leave that unpublished. I don't have any comments, and I agree to the cube's terms of deposit. I'm gonna submit my draft. and then I will have a publication. And you can go see it, your actual page right there. And there it is. So that's the Cube's publication system as of right now. Uh, we are currently under development and only gonna get better. 
Um, if you have questions, please reach out to any of the CUBES team.